Actually, what will be the ampere? So I have taken an empty cartridge, the two wheelers battery cartridge. The lead acid battery cartridge. I cut down only like this. So in each empty chamber, two two cells I will be able to put in parallel. So there will be some totally twelve cells will be there, and we'll see what all the these are all will be the requirements before preparing. No, these are all the requirements I have taken ready. See, this is what aluminum sheets. Some five by five centimeters aluminum sheets are kept. Twelve numbers are kept ready. Similarly, this is tin sheets. What I have, I am going to use. Actually, we are supposed to use carbon plates, but unfortunately, the cost of the carbon plates is very high, which is not viable for me. So, this will have less shelf life. That's all. But same, but voltage will be point two volt, lesser than what you expect from carbon electrodes. There you can expect 1.7, 1.5 above. Here it will be 1.3 to 1.5. So similarly, I cut 12 numbers of tin sheet. 12 numbers of tin sheet I cut it. So 12 numbers of aluminium sheet as the negative electrode. Tin sheet as the positive here. In the tin sheet, each tin sheet, I am going to make corner with the double side adhesive. No double side adhesive. You can see my previous video there. I would have, I would have explained well. After keeping the double side adhesives in the in between, I will I'll fill the carbon black powder mixture of carbon black, graphite, MnO2, and traces of lead oxide and copper oxide. This I'll fill it. That I'll show you while filling. I'll show you. After filling, I have already made ready. This will be my barrier. This is what this is actually polyester uh, filter cloth. Because which what I am using it, you can use still better uh, fabrics like glass wool fabrics there that will give better breathing from electrodes to electrodes. This will still little little inferior, but the, what I have I am using it. This I'll try to fix through the double sided adhesive. You know, I'll fix it. So this like this similarly I'll do for all the other eleven tin sheets with filled with carbon. This will act as the anode. Or positive electrode, you call it positive electrode, carbon electrode. Okay, if it is pure carbon plate, you will have better voltage, better ampere also. But still, what is I am having? I am, I am utilizing it, and I am showing to you. All modifications, engineering aspects, all I leave it to you. Which I made ready. Can you see? All I am bordered with the double side adhesive pair, tape, so that in between this. Next, we can fill the carbon black mixer powder. Then, I'll peel off slowly those upper releasing paper. I'll peel off. Then, above that, I'll be adhering this as best I'm in uh, polyester filter cloth. This is double action. This is it filters as well as it's an absorbent. Whenever the electrolyte goes and wet with this, it's an absorbent. So, electrolyte will be retained in this. To become a cell, can you see it? So twelve individual positive electrodes are prepared using this double side adhesive powder. One one part of carbon black, two parts of graphite, three parts of MnO2, traces of lead oxide and cobalt oxide. This carbon mix powder I have slowly placed on the inside. That gap was there, no? Like this. So I placed using a spoon. And pressing with some design, I pressed like this. This is how I am going to do for all the other eleven positive electrodes. Then after doing this, I'll release this paper so that the adhesive will be naked. So slowly, I'll place this as filter bag, filter pad. This same thing I'm going to repeat for the other eleven electrodes. Okay. So finally, we have made the positive electrodes. Twelve numbers I have made. Each in this chamber, no, each chamber, I will fix two two cells there. So two into six means twelve. Twelve individuals uh, positive electrode I have made now ready. So what I have done? Previously I showed you that border was there. In between I placed the carbon black mixer powder carefully. Then above that I have adhered the polyester. Filter, pad, filter pad. You able to see? It has been evenly adhered. So I placed all that. So like this, I 
similarly are done for all the 12 electrodes. So, the positive electrode is now ready. Then our negative electrode that is the aluminum electrodes are already are cut 12 numbers that this is also ready. Then we will go for placing into the chambers and connect these terminals positive negatives in series and we will see what is the final voltage and what is the ampere we are going to derive and what is the electrode I am going to use it in this model. Finally, you know, we have made 12 individual cells. So, each chamber will have 2 2 cells clubbed together in series. Then, uh, then to each chamber will be connected in parallel. I will show you. So, this is one cell now. This is one aluminum negative, this is positive. It contains carbon and as what you call polyester filter pad that is. So, this one cell. Similarly, this is one cell. Same. So, I will put it in same aligned. So, in between I will put a plastic. Then finally, I will place it in this chamber. Like this, I have done for all the other five chambers. This is how I have finished it. Okay, friends. Now even I have made a holes to each individual electrodes, no holes to connect to each other. After connecting, I will show you before adding those electrolyte, I will show you. We have assembled the cell, six chamber cells. Each chamber contains two, two cells in parallel connection. Whereas, chamber to chamber is in serial connection. So, I am expecting some 8 to 9 volt will be there. Ampere I have to see in practical. So, now what, what now we have to add all that the connection done. This is the negative, this will be the positive. Those things are all this is positive means negative negative connected to the positive like that series. So, these are all connected now. Now I have to add the electrolyte. This is an electrolyte of containing major two part of zinc chloride, three molar, one part of zinc uh, zinc sulfate, then traces of manganese sulfate. This we will add it and see what will be the volt it generates and the current it gives. Finally, we have added the electrolyte to all the chambers and we have waited for 5 minutes for saturation. Now, we will see what is the volt it is able to generate. This first time I am also trying because I have replaced the carbon with the tin plates. So, I actually I do not know what the volt it will generate. We will see it. We are able to see 2.9. So, actually this battery has, it is not an aluminum carbon battery, this has become aluminum and iron battery. So, we are expecting only 0.5 volt per cell, that is why it is able to give only 2.88, nearly 3 volt it is, nearly 3 volt. As per the calculation, 0.5 into 6 means 3 volt. So, it is a output is only for the 6 in series, no 6 cells in series. So, 3 volt it is giving. We will find out what is the current it is able to generate. Now, I have put it in 250 milli amperes. We will see what is the current it generates. It exceeds 250 milli amperes. We will find out what is the actual amperes it is able to give. I change it to 10 amps now. Not even 0.5 amps. So, it is only giving you 4 and to 450 milliamperes. So, 3 volt and 450 milliamperes maximum. Because it is now become aluminum iron batteries. These are all not easily chargeable. So, what mistake I have done is instead of uh, carbon plate, I have replaced with tin plate which I had. So, that this is the mistake. So, now this has become aluminum carbon battery, not aluminum, I mean not aluminum carbon battery, it has become um, aluminum iron battery. So, we will see how the motor also works, we will find out.
all this I am doing in presence of you only. Because I am also I am also learning what will be the changes if you replace carbon plate with iron plates. So I thought I am adding carbon, so there won't be any big change. Able to see. Motor and fine, but it is only maximum three volt and four fifty milliamperes. Okay, friends. If you like my videos, kindly encourage me. Press the like buttons. You can pass your comments. Kindly subscribe. This gives me encouragement to do still more batteries for you. Subscribers, thank you, thank you. So this ultimately has become aluminium iron battery. So next time we'll try because I don't have carbon plates. I tried by adding uh, this tin sheets, but the battery recognizes that. As aluminium and aluminium iron batteries. Okay, friends.